Hey hey everyone, Colorpix here. And today I thought I would finish up this mini stack craft of the Neuschwanstein castle. I hope I said that right. Um, with you and yeah, let's see what the finished product looks like. I have finished putting it all together actually. And these are all of the uh, frames that I'm left with. And I went from three bags of these, three full bags, down to about half a bag left of pieces. So not bad. Um, there's definitely some extras in there. I did run out of some colors and I was very, very, or I still am disappointed in that. But I had enough of other colors that I figured I'd just go ahead and substitute you know use my creative um, imagination there and see what I could do to fix it so what I'm going to do now is show you all four pieces and what they look like so we'll start with uh, the first two I showed these on Instagram but I'll show you what they look like here so we've got the top right oh Probably don't need to show you this, but um, this area here is what that looks like. Looks pretty nice uh, from afar. <laughs> There's that. So that's top right. This is bottom right. And you can see the iconic front, red front of the Neuschwanstein Castle. And of course, that's this here. And then we've got top left. It looks really nice, doesn't it? Doesn't it? Mm -hmm. So again, this area here. And here is bottom left. And then finishing up with this big tree here. Looks very nice, hey? It looks really good from afar, I feel. <laughs> but what I'm going to do with you in this video today is actually connect all the pieces together using these discs that came with it. Can't see that. Using these discs that came with it, I'm going to put them all together and hopefully we can get a grand shot of that. Hopefully if it'll fit on my table. But let's go. Let's see how we go. So I don't think I ever gave any uh, measurements on this piece, but it does have four panels and each panel is 33 by 26 and a half centimeters. And all together, all four panels put together is 66 by 53. So it's quite decent in size, um, yeah. And because it's so big, I feel it's a little bit like diamond painting where, you know, you're looking at it up close and it just looks like a mess. But, you know, you take a couple steps back and boom, it looks like this really awesome picture. So I kind of like that about it. Um, I like how you're working on it and don't know what's going to kind of come out of this random pieces of color that you're putting down. But yeah, really cool. I did find a website that creates a mini stack pattern out of an image that you upload. It's really cool. So you upload the image and then it tells you exactly what color and what shape and how many of those um, you need to complete that piece. And I, I might give that a try. Who knows? <laughs> we'll see. Okay, that's it. Um, that was really really quick um that took me maybe five minutes to do and that's because i couldn't really see <laughs> but um yeah it looks kind of cool from this side hey this is the bottom the underneath oh it looks pretty cool but let's flip it over and see what's happening hopefully i don't break it <laughs> all right there we go. Uh, you can't see all of it, but you can see the majority of it. That is the completed Neuschwanstein castle made in mini stack. Woo! I'll uh, make sure to include a picture at the end of the video of the full piece. And I will also have pictures on Instagram and Facebook. Um, but yeah, that's it. Pretty, pretty, pretty. That's it. It's all done. Ta -da. I'm so excited. Um, it was a very fun craft to do. Um, again, I was disappointed that uh, 
I feel like I didn't get enough colors for um, all of the areas that the pattern called for. So yeah, just a little disappointed in that. But it was easy enough to kind of substitute replacements in there. Hopefully you can't even tell where it kind of went awry. Um, <laughs> but yeah, if you spot it, put it down in the comments. <laughs> But other than that, it was quite fun to do. I still, I must say, I still enjoy Pixel Hobby a bit more um, if I was to compare the two. Only because with Pixel Hobby, you use tweezers and it's a little bit, it's not as hard on your fingers. This is, this was pretty hard on your fingers. Um, but other than that, it's a pretty fun and interesting craft. I'm glad I found it and glad I got to try it. So yeah, I would make it, I recommend that you try it at least once. You know, see how you go, see if you like it or not. Yeah, that's it. That's all I've got. I hope that you have enjoyed this little journey, a little interesting side trip into something different. But uh, yeah, stay safe and I will see you in the next video. Bye!